Facing intense pressure and a recall effort tonight, LA City Councilman Mike Bonin is fighting back. And today he released details of a new plan to tackle the homeless crisis in his Venice district and blasted the LA County Sheriff for making the situation worse. KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Waite live in Venice with details on Bonin's plan to house people in the encampments there. Tom. Hi, Juan and Leslie. Well, Bonin and other city leaders have taken a lot of heat in the past few months over the homeless crisis. Well, tonight, Bonin says he has a plan to help solve part of that crisis on the boardwalk in the next two months. We are offering uh, genuine housing. LA City Councilman Mike Bonin on his ambitious plan to house nearly 200 people in the tent encampment in his Venice district along the boardwalk. Bonin is aiming to do this in six weeks. As a result of the recovery from the pandemic, the state and the federal government have made more money available, and so we've tapped into some of that. Bonin says his office is teaming up with St. Joseph Center, who will send out teams to counsel and provide mental health services. Bonin also says they now have more options for housing. As a result of the pandemic, uh, public health made us reduce the capacity for the shelter in Venice, which is now back up. Uh, we are opening a 33 bed uh, former motel as housing in Venice. Convincing some to move inside may be a challenge. There will be situations, I imagine, where you may have the unhoused say, I don't want to go in. I want to stay here on the boardwalk. Then what do you do? Well, you know, the current situation right now is the LAPD has the ability to uh, enforce no camping in the park or on the beaches. Uh, that's been on the books. That was never off the books. Uh, there's a different rule about sidewalks than there is about parks. You know, we've got the sheriff strutting around down there, and, and we know LAPD has the, the enforcement authority. What we want to be able to do is give people an opportunity to say, here's a way you can get indoors. Bonin has been under intense fire for scenes like this playing out on the boardwalk. Attacks on street performers, fires, drug use, and other violence. The situation became even more tense when just two weeks ago, L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva went to the boardwalk and said he was going to take matters into his own hands. Bonin is hitting back at the sheriff. He came in. He didn't know what the hell he was doing. He wasn't familiar with the area. He didn't know who the service providers were, and he didn't come in offering people a single bed. He came in and we were doing outreach for this program. He confused the hell out of people. Sheriff Villanueva put out a statement reacting to Bonin's new initiative. It reads in part, the Venice community is tired of empty promises and lawlessness. Bonin's plan only ensures that more homeless will continue to pour into Venice from all over the USA. Wherever the blame may fall, the crisis is growing and it will not be easy to solve. Valicia Adams Kellum with St. Joseph is leading this latest outreach. Outreach effort. I think it's like a, a hopelessness like we've never seen before where people have started to accept this is my lot, right? I'm living in this tent with trash around, you know, my, my living space and there's really nothing I can do about it. And what we hope to bring to people is exactly that, that hope. And these outreach efforts are already underway. As for that recall effort we were talking about earlier, Bonin is brushing it off, saying these are right-wing forces coordinating against him, and he says he will continue to do his job. Reporting live in Venice, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.